And what they do, you see, all, the whole system of admin, you think it starts with the first certificates, but every bit of paperwork that's sort of floating in, it's just paperwork people signing. The moment you sign stuff, you create wealth. You've got the equitable title. Let me explain how this works. Anyone got a mortgage? Mm -hmm. Hello? Do you know who created the money for the mortgage? You did. <laughs> you created the money to give to them, for them to lend back to you and charge you for it. And they sold it as well. Uh, male, maybe not, doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. But the point being is, your equitable side, this money, <coughs> created the wealth. Then they float around uh, birth certificates on the market. <laughs> well, I've had it no, all this, the, the, there isn't any money associated with it. There isn't 13 million lying around that's yours. Um, it's bankrupt. There's no money there. All this, you know, oh, yeah, it's worth millions, but no, it doesn't exist. It's all bankrupt. They're completely bankrupt. The whole world's bankrupt. <laughs> there is no equity. You create it all. So the ridiculous thing, a mortgage, no, by the way. That's what I mean, so as soon as we're born, we have a birth certificate. That's what I mean. Registry. You don't have to register your children. Yeah, I know you don't have to. But when do you know what do? the fine for non-registration is? Less than It used to be two, is it? See, so inflation. Um, but you can deregister a child before seven years because when in 16, 1666 they declared everyone lost at sea, um, they gave everyone seven years to, to find out that they weren't, but they didn't tell them that they had been. So how can you say no when you don't know that it's been done? That's fraud. That's um, lack of full disclosure, all sorts of contract stuff. Uh, and you can push that with statutes and police officers. So a contract is any piece of paper that you give authority to and say, I'll, I'll work under these rules. If you give a contract where you've been asked to, to sign to this guy, you've lost all rights completely, and that's what the police will do every single time. Whenever they're filling their little tickets in, they're offering you a contract. And it, sometimes it has a sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> so when they, you know, the police stop you and go, um, can I be named? Uh, yeah, Roger Walker. Uh, oh, that's Mr. Roger Walker. No, it isn't. Sorry, I've no title. You can put master. So, so you're not Mr. Roger Walker. Correct. And they don't want to do that. And if they say, well, I'm going to assume that you are, can you put that down that you're making that assumption? Because that won't stand in court. And if they do force you and they get, you know, they've got some real fights on you, sign it, but all over that document, right? Signed under duress. You cannot be forced to write a contract to anybody. It has to be free will and it has to be complete disclosure. In other words, you know all the terms and conditions there. Now, because it's not here, I'm going to tell us to I'll keep, I'll keep it anonymous for you. Uh, he did, he, this is a, a gent we know. He went off to do this project with a cinema and he got all these contracts and he signed them and he came running up to me at Truth Deuce about, I don't know, six months ago. Uh, and said, um, oh, got a problem. <laughs> um, they've said that I've got to maintain the building for three and a half years. Uh, and I said, well, well, where's that? He said, it's in the contract. I said, have you signed it? And he said, yes. Yeah. guess what? <laughs> You've got to maintain the building for three and a half years. You signed it, you pillock. That gave it authority to become. And he didn't read it. Never, ever, ever sign anything without reading it because you give it value the moment you put the man or woman's signature against the legal title. You're stuck. <laughs>